There's something special about seeing a solar eclipse. Many of us will only get to see one during our lifetime because they're that rare an event. Solar filters on cameras and solar eclipse glasses means that millions of us can get together and enjoy this spectacular event together. But what is a solar eclipse? What causes it? And what science can we do with one? So what causes a solar eclipse? Well, a solar eclipse is caused when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. And so the moon blocks the light from the Sun reaching us down here on Earth. Now imagine you're on Earth and you're looking up at the Sun, which is this torch. As the moon passes in between you and the Sun, you'll see that it blocks the light from the Sun. And so you don't see any of it. And this is what a solar eclipse is. But it may be easier to understand if you look at it this way. The centre of our solar system here we have the Sun and orbiting around it we have the Earth. Meanwhile the Moon is also orbiting around the Earth like so, it spins around the Earth. Now, As the Earth travels around the Sun and the Moon travels around the Earth, occasionally the Moon will end up between the Sun and the Earth and this is what causes an eclipse. And this event happens around every 18 months down here on Earth. But it depends which side of the Earth is facing the Sun as to who gets to see the eclipse each time. But the whole system is a bit more confusing as well, because the Earth, the Moon and the Sun all move in three dimensions in the solar system. And this makes it even more unlikely that a solar eclipse will happen. Now I said that most people only see one total solar eclipse during their lifetime. This unless you travel around the world trying to see more of them. But partial eclipses happen much more frequently. Now a partial eclipse is when the Moon doesn't pass perfectly in between the Earth and the Sun. And so what happens is the Moon doesn't block all of the light from the Sun, just part of it. So instead of seeing all the light from the Sun being blocked by the Moon, only part of the light is blocked. So this means you can still see part of the Sun around the outside of the Moon. You can expect to see around 10 partial solar eclipses where you live each decade, so there's plenty for you to see. And when you see a total solar eclipse on the Earth where you are, many other people around the world are seeing partial solar eclipses. This is because people who are the north, east, south and west of you see the moon covering less of a fraction of the sun. Now to demonstrate this, imagine again that you can see a total solar eclipse from where you are. So the moon passes perfectly in front of the sun and blocks all of the light. Now if you imagine that you're slightly more north, what will happen is you can see more of an angle of the sun and hence the moon blocks less of the light from the sun. Hence other people around the world will see a partial solar eclipse when you see a full solar eclipse. Now you're probably excited for the next solar eclipse and you'll be wondering how you can see it for yourself. Well, there are several really easy methods that allow you to see this glorious event. The first and possibly the easiest method is to buy yourself a pair of solar eclipse glasses. These are essentially just like a really strong pair of sunglasses. So what happens is they block most of the light from the sun, meaning that you can look directly at the sun during a solar eclipse without it damaging your eyes. These glasses are typically quite cheap, only a few pounds or a few dollars, but just make sure you buy a really decent and well-made pair to avoid doing any damage to your eyes. And another alternative is to make yourself something called a pinhole projector. That pinhole projector is just like making your own camera lens. And what it does is it projects the image of the moon passing in front of the sun onto a piece of paper or a solid surface behind the pinhole projector. Now, if you want to learn how to make one of these yourself, they're really easy to make. You can watch my video just up here and I'll teach you how to make one for yourself. However, if you're not the arts and crafts type of person, but you fancy having a go anyway, you can also use a colander for the same effect. As long as your colander has lots of small round holes in it, you can hold it up to the sun and it will project lots of mini images of the moon passing in front of the sun. And it looks just like this image just up here. But whatever you do, just don't look directly at the sun. Looking directly at the sun can cause permanent damage to your vision, so just don't do it. And even worse, never look through any kind of lens at the sun. This is like telescope or binoculars, because this will do even worse damage to your eyesight. However, there are often local organised events during solar eclipses where people bring along things like solar telescopes. And these are telescopes designed specifically to look at the sun without causing any damage to your eye. And these are really good, so if you see any of these, definitely have a go, but just make sure the person who owns the solar telescope and is running it knows what they're doing. And a total solar eclipse takes hours to occur, from the time the moon starts passing in front of the sun to the time it leaves on the other side. However, the time that the moon is completely covering the sun during a total solar eclipse is around 7 minutes, so you have plenty of time to see it and take some photographs as well. But solar eclipses aren't just great to watch, they've also been used in the past for some really important science. The 1919 solar eclipse was used to confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity. 
Einstein predicted that the mass of the sun would bend light from stars behind the sun, but this could only be confirmed during an eclipse, when most of the light from the sun was blocked, so that the stars around the outside would be bright enough to be able to see. So with partial solar eclipses happening a few times every decade, it's always possible for you to experience the excitement of a solar eclipse. And if you're lucky, you may even be able to see a total solar eclipse during your lifetime. So why not go out there, buy yourself a pair of eclipse glasses, or make yourself a pinhole projector, and get some excitement and enjoyment out of seeing a solar eclipse. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel with lots of great scientific videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Hi everyone. So solar eclipse is a really fun thing to be able to see. It's caused when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun and it blocks some of the light from the Sun reaching us down here on Earth. However, you can't look at the solar eclipse with just your naked eye because it would damage it when you look at the Sun. You also can't use a pair of binoculars or a telescope. However, there are a couple of cool things that you can use to see a solar eclipse for yourself.